Hello, this is Jenny Deason Copeland, owner of Crazy Redhead Publishing. We are very happy to announce our latest product of family card game, Saki. Saki can be played with up to eight players ages six and up. It plays like an open-faced gin rummy game. If you can count up to 12, you can play Saki. The Story of Saki The rules to Saki were taught to Tad by his mother, a shipwrecked Victorian lady. He was born shortly after she was the sole survivor of the misfortunate occurrence. They lived happily on a warm Pacific island. He and his mother often played Saki together and with the natives to pass the time during stormy nights. On his eighth birthday, Tad's mother gave him a set of cards for his very own, which she had hand-drawn and painted. He kept them in a sock, which he had found washed up on the beach and a trunk full of clothes, presumably from the wreck. From that day on, the game was newly named Saki. Now that you know the history, let's play Saki. First, choose a windless, large, flat playing area, like a kitchen table or a dining room table. Open the box and check the contents. There should be two decks of cards and the instructions. Shuffle the two decks together. Let's check out the cards. There are four suits, pagoda, lady or geisha, boat or junk, and flower. Each suit has cards numbered 1 through 12, and there is one other card, it's called the happy card, which makes you happy if it's in your hand when the scoring is done, but more on that later. Next, decide how many will play. We recommend no more than six, but you can add as many as want to play. For six, deal each player 11 cards face down. For eight or more, deal eight cards. Place the remaining cards face down where they can be reached by all as they will be your draw pile. Let's begin. Pick a dealer for the first hand and have them shuffle the cards while the rest of you get snacks and beverages. The player to the left of the dealer is the first to play. This player is treated unfairly at the beginning of each hand. The first player must play at least three cards from his hand onto the playing surface face up. Plays are either three like symboled cards like three tens, or you can play three cards in a run like a four, five, six. But if you play a run, the cards must be of the same suit. If the first player does not have any three card plays in their hand, they must draw one card at a time from the draw pile until they do have at least a three card play. Finally, the first player draws enough cards to be able to play the run one, two, three of pagodas. To signify that your turn has ended, knock on the table. Remember, this is a very important Saki rule. Once a knock, always a knock. Thou cannot renege on a knock. All the rest of the plays for the remainder of the game only require that one card is played per turn. The second player plays at least one card from their hand or draws from the pile until they can make a play. The lucky second player can play three sevens in a pile and add a four to the pagoda run, making it a one, two, three, four pagodas. They knock, signifying the end of their turn. The third player doesn't have anything to play until they draw five cards from the pile. Then they are able to play three fives. They knock. The fourth player has a play in their hand and plays the seven flower on the pile of sevens. They knock. Now pay attention, the next one's a toughie. How to rearrange the piles on the table. The fifth player takes the four from the pagoda run and starts a new pile. They then add two more fours from their hand to make a nice three card pile of fours. But then they take a three from the pagoda run and try to make a new pile of three threes. But oops, you can't do that. You always have to leave at least three cards in every pile and now the pagoda run only has a one, two of pagodas. When a player is caught leaving less than three cards in every pile, he must put the cards on the table, back adding the three of pagoda back to make the run one, two, three of pagoda again, and must put the other two threes back in their hand. They knock, having finished their turn. Also remember to play all the plays you can when it is your turn. This is a double deck game. 
another player may have that same play and steal it before it is your turn again. So go ahead and make that play. Saving plays is not a winning strategy. Remember, the one who wins each hand is the one who gets rid of their cards first. One more way to rearrange is splitting a run. Splitting a run can be done as long as the results have at least three cards in every pile. For example, the table has a pagoda run of 8, 9, 10, 11. In your hand are 7, 9, 12 pagoda. By taking the 8 and 9 and adding a 7, there is one pile of three cards. Then add the 9 and 12 from your hand to the 10, 11 that are left, making a second run with four cards, and you have played all your cards to win the hand. Well done. Scoring a game. A game consists of many hands. To win a hand, you play all your cards first. Everyone else totals up the value of the cards left in their hands. Happy cards are counted as zero. One of the reasons they are called happy cards. The player who played all their cards gets a zero for that hand. Hands are dealt and played until someone's score exceeds 100. The lowest score at that point wins the game. But if someone scores exactly 100, they have sockied the other players and their score reverts to zero, and the game continues until someone's score exceeds 100. Basically, that is sake in a nutshell. Easy to play, takes a lifetime to master. There are just a few basic rules to remember. Leave three cards in every pile. You must play at least one card per turn. A knock is a knock is a knock. The happy card is not a wild card. Like symboled piles are mixed suits. Runs are always the same suit. There are no limits on how many cards you have to draw from the draw deck to find a play. There are no limits on how many cards you can play on one turn. Have fun! Let's back up the truck a bit. That one about the happy is not a wild card? We need to emphasize that one. Here are the correct ways to play a happy card. In a pile of happies, to start a run, happy 1-2, to end a run, happy 12-11, or to wrap a run, one happy 12. That's it. Saki is currently available at the Crazy Redhead Publishing website and at Game Crafter. Well, that's a wrap on Saki. We hope you and your friends and family enjoy playing the game together. Other family products from Crazy Redhead Publishing include three children's books. A Mousekeeper Christmas has been awarded the Best Children's Christmas Book 2017 by Best of Los Angeles. Mousekeeping starts Thanksgiving Eve. New Shoes for Elizabeth, also a Christmas story for ages 8 to 12, is a chapter book. Mama and Love Love is a beautifully illustrated story of a mother's love for her child, ages baby and up. All these books are available on Amazon as both paperback and ebook. A boxed gift set for a Mousekeeper Christmas is available exclusively on our website at www.crazyredheadpublishing.com. Please visit and best to all, Jenny.